Can we talk about it? So, for the fourth night in France, there have been riots and protests all throughout France because of the killing of police of a 17-year-old teenager. And the rioting has spread since he got shot on Tuesday. So, for the past four days, France has been burning and they cannot control the riots and they cannot control the people rioting. The interesting thing about this situation is most of the rioters are 17 years old and up and they're teenagers rioters. So, these aren't mostly adults. These are mostly teenagers that they can't control anymore rioting because of what they view as police brutality and unfair conditions for Muslim and migrant workers that flooded in Paris. If you want to know, if you want to know one thing about France, is they gonna riot. They gonna riot. They've been rioting France. They will always riot in France. They've been rioting since the age of Napoleon and ages before that. France loves to riot, and when people in France feel ashamed of their government and they feel like their government is not doing what they need to do, they set things on fire. In America, we could get a little bit of French spirit the same way we got during the American Revolution. If we could get a little of that spirit, we wouldn't have some of these problems that we have here because we lack the spirit and discipline to fight and protest for the things. We like to protest over dumb stuff and identity politics and a bunch of other stuff that make no sense. Meanwhile, in Paris, any little thing, they're going to protest and they're going to take to the street. And I admire the spirit. I admire the youth spirit. I'm never for police brutality. I'm never for the innocent killing of our kids. Um, so it has to stop. It has to be a curb. And I'm finally happy that parts of the world are reacting. And we need to understand that America, we are the baby of the world. We are the youngest um, global power. We're the youngest superpower. We're the youngest everything. Our history compared to France is nothing. We are literally a drop in the bucket. We need to understand that this world is way older and bigger than us. And a lot of times that things that we accept in America, places in other parts of the world would never accept. Any little thing they riot in France, they could not have somebody like Joe Biden, the president of France. They would have rioted and got his old behind up out of there. But can we talk about it? I think these protests and these demonstrations are just um, the world finally waking up. The world's finally waking up to this control and this police brutality and these security states that we had built around the world since 9-11. Because if you didn't know, America's number one import is weapons. So literally, if they were to stop the military and the prison industrial complex, these people would not know where to work. If you was to stop all the military and police systems in America and the places in the world, these people will have no jobs. Some of these cities where all they got is prisons would have no jobs. These correction officers, these police officers, they would have no jobs. So they need the um, prison industrial complexes. Can we talk about it?